Welcome back everybody. Tomorrow morning leaving to go up north to find some ice because uh, here in southwestern Ontario we still have no ice. There's still people fishing on the lakes uh, in their boats. So I'm getting all my gear ready as you can see. This is the first time I've had it out. Got the lights are working. Those otter lights are still working. So I'm playing around with a few things and uh, I got some new additions this year. Yes, I bought myself a new auger. Strike Master Light Flight. Gonna add that to the drill. Can't wait to use that. Picked up one of these uh, five pound propane tanks too. Instead of hauling around a big uh, 20 pounder, plus I got a couple uh, other things like the hoses for the, uh, the heater and one of these uh, filter units here. They say when you're running from a tank that you should put a filter on it. So we'll see if uh, any of this stuff is uh, worthy. Got to get this stuff all packed up, taken off first thing in the morning. So wish me luck. Hopefully I'm going to get into some uh, some decent pike and walleye. At least that's the, the plan. So see what happens. Well, that's looking a little bit better. There's some snow around here. You pass that, that line, I would say that's probably around Barrie, and I find that a lot of the winter activities that you enjoy doing, usually once you pass there, you're good to go. So, but yeah, what a difference. I left the rain down in Southern Ontario, and it's uh, kind of doing like a light flurry right now outside, so, and it's white up here. It's muddy down my way, so. Next stop, uh, Perry Sound, pick up a few items and, uh, then on to my location and get some uh, ice time in. Airbnb on Nipawasi Lake. It's a basement suite, walk out, not bad. And I have it all to myself because I couldn't get anybody else to come with me. It's a little more than what I need, but not bad at all. And talk about being on the lake, I'm on the lake. Here's the master, very nice. Nice bathroom. And a secondary bedroom. Time to go get myself uh, unpacked and bring everything inside. This way uh, get myself settled in and get out on that water. <clears throat> get some ice fishing in. There's the view from the walkout. Very nice, eh? Ice is right down there. I probably don't have to go very far. That should be good because last year I was here and I was at that end of the lake, which is the furthest west part of the lake, and a couple of small pike. So I'm hoping for something a little bit better. The water's a little deeper at this end, and it should be a lot better. So let's uh, get this thing going, and um, yeah, at least I got a nice place to stay. There's a, there's a hut sit right here. I just went out there, sputted my way out. Everything looks good. Here's my predicament. This hill. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to walk everything down, but what I'm gonna do is grab my stuff first. Uh, go, go pop some holes in there and see what we're dealing with. I don't know if I, I won't get that sled up the hill uh, with, with it loaded. That's for sure, so stay tuned. All right, holes have been punched. Time to bring the sled down there. We're looking at a uh, good 10 to 12, I think, inches. Easy. That new auger, that is, uh, wow. That thing's awesome. I went through that like, like butter. Let's finish doing what we're doing. Everything's up. Going back up's gonna be a problem, but getting it down was easy. I loaded it up and basically let her go. Happy to be back here. This is awesome. Now let's hope there's uh, some fish. Literally, I think, I, I think I'm still getting Wi-Fi. I've had a couple fish come in. No takers yet. Just trying up uh, some different things here. See if I can coax a bite. 
let's hope something happens. I mean, no big deal. Um, you know, I got uh, tomorrow and the next day too, but I wanted to get out. Well, I'll say this much. I didn't expect a lot the first uh, my first night here. I think I'm going to try a different spot tomorrow, maybe a couple. I can't really venture too far because there is so much snow that came down. I think this is a wrap for day one. Uh, well, not even a day, just two, two hours really, or two and a half hours. It's getting to be seven o'clock. I haven't uh, seen anything else on the screen and it has been pretty quiet. This is gourmet for tonight. All right, since I don't have any of the boys to do shooters with, I guess it's all me. Cheers, Nisha. That's some smooth stuff. If you ever looking for a good whiskey? Right there, man. Love that stuff. Love it. All right, for uh, frozen pizza, that looks pretty darn good, man. Hey, check that out. Oh, man. Time to chow down, boys. I am through the trees there. Beauty, eh? This is a really nice location. Just gotta get myself uh, onto some fish now. Let's see if we can haul, haul up some fish today. Honey, I'm home. Man, that heater throws off some heat. Gotcha, gotcha that time. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You are a perch. <laughs> well now. This is what's bugging me down there. But I got him. Alright, dude. Off you go. You need something bigger than that. But no skunk. So, I can't believe I'm actually excited that I caught that. Oops, something else just chased that. They seem to like this little thing a little bit better. They've shown a little more interest in it anyways. I mean, I'll take a, I'll take a bigger perch, right? Jumbo? Jumbo would be nice. Not those aquarium size type fish. a little bit bigger. All right. He has grown a little bit. Not bad. They're getting bigger. It's all good. I went to a bigger spoon. One that was doing me well in Bay of Quinte last year. And I caught a couple pike on this lake on this spoon. That uh, green and gold dinner bell got me a little bigger perch. I'm okay with that. This thing went down and they were like all over it. All right, that's uh, number two. Again, not big, but that's another one. Let these guys go. There you are. It's better than what I got yesterday, which was. I may as well celebrate <laughs> to a uh, to a few small perch. Cheers. 
Got another perch. Wow. A little bit bigger. <laughs> wow. You went after that uh, that uh, rattling crank there. That's a that's a decent one. Here you hit that uh, dual realis du dually perch. Took it with some authority too. Like he really wanted it. I think that's my biggest one today, and it's a perch kind of day. Not bad, friends. That was a surprise. I put it on to try and summon something a little bit bigger. Let's give that another go. I moved a bit. Everybody's telling me this is where I gotta be in this general range. That's where I was yesterday, right there. So, let's see if I can't get uh, something going today. Just finished setting up. As soon as it went down, I had something all over it. Gonna go with the green and gold frostbite. <clears throat> this one has caught me numerous fish. I'm not saying tipping the scales, but it's been a very, very good spoon. Even the little perch, you can catch a little perch on it. <laughs> Even catch a little perch on it. There's already a little perch on it. They love this thing. It's a little perch killer. First fish and, well, it's a perchy perch. <laughs> We are starting off with perch. As I said, the green and gold just, they seem to love it. For whatever reason, it's their thing. Not big. Well, we can catch a whole mess of those. Make a meal. Perch tacos. All right, let's go. He hit that as soon as it hit the bottom. Well, will you look at that. Well, I came to target walleye, and that's uh, <laughs> he just he just hit that. I mean, as soon as it hit the bottom. Well, buddy, everybody, the first walleye of the trip. Not huge. Not flattering, but we got one. There you go. I don't know why that made me feel good. <laughs> but it did. I just went and uh, tried something that's been used a lot. The vibrato. Everybody's familiar with that, right? That thing, as soon as it hit the bottom, as soon as it hit the bottom, I was like, but I got a bite. I wasn't expecting that. Let's take a few more, but bigger would be nice. As soon as it hit the bottom, I reeled it up two cranks, I think, and it was like, he was just desperate. He wanted to make me feel good, I think, because there was nothing on my screen. Unless he was holding pretty tight. All right, that is a wrap for my uh, trip. Yeah, I couldn't get her going today. And again, uh, you know, the hike out there was was pretty tough with all the snow on the ice. And wish I had a wish I had a snowmobile because that would make life so much easier. So yeah, if there's anything that this trip gave me was uh, good accommodations, but. Uh, the fishing wasn't great. It makes it tough sometimes to go searching on a lake that you're not very familiar with. But unless you know somebody that lives there, it's pretty tough sometimes to, to find the places or even get to them. So, anyways, I can say that I had a nice time away. We'll say that. Fishing, okay, but I know there's some slammers in that lake. So, anyways, I'm signing off. 
Uh, you know the drill. Like and subscribe. Uh, it's always appreciated when you do that. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care and tight lines.